Hey, it's Randy from UC Status. Welcome to another episode of Ditch the Box. Today I've got a brand new toy from our friends at Logitech. It's the Logitech Scribe. Logitech Scribe is a whiteboard camera for VC rooms, including Microsoft Teams. I'm gonna tell you all about it in a second. So what in the world is a Logitech Scribe? You can basically think about it as Logitech's own version of the magic whiteboard or content camera. So what Logitech have done is taken a really special camera, put it inside of a housing with a mounting arm, and you can mount it above your whiteboard. The really special thing about this camera is all the brains and all the technology for magic whiteboard or content camera is built right inside. They basically started where Microsoft left off, and added a bunch of really special tricks and clever things themselves. Right, so I've already installed the Magic Whiteboard. I'm not gonna show you how to do that. If you wanna know how to install it, Josh Blaylock from Logitech actually has a really great video. I'll put a link to it in the notes below. Go and check it out. So I've already plugged it in. So the first thing I've done is gone into settings on the, on the Microsoft Teams room. You can do that from the touch panel and then you go down to peripherals. You can see I've got my audio sources here and over here I've got content camera. So I'm just gonna hit the drop down list and I've got a couple of things to choose from. So the UVC 30 is my main camera. So I'm gonna choose Logitech Scribe. Next thing you wanna do is actually turn off the content enhancements. So as I said, Logitech has built a brain inside of this camera. So what you wanna do is take advantage of their technology and not Microsoft's. You don't want the two fighting with each other. So I'm just gonna untick that and press save and exit. All right, so after you press save and exit, it should restart the box. Mine is already restarted and I've gone back into settings. So what I'm gonna do is go back to Windows settings, go into administrator. Right, so because I've got a Logitech device installed onto my Microsoft Teams room, I've installed the Sync application. So I'm just gonna double click and open up that. I've already signed into Sync using my user account to actually connect to my instance of the Sync portal. What you can see is I've got the room itself, called Falcon MTR. It's connected to my instance there. And if I go down to Scribe, you can see I've got a firmware update available. So I'm just gonna press update. So as you can see, it's running 1.0.7 right now. There's a firmware version of 1.1.1 waiting. So I'm going to go ahead and update that now. And then I'm gonna pause the video while that does that. Another thing to say is if you go back to the sync portal itself and actually go into rooms, you can see I've got Falcon MTR there and I've actually got update available. So if I just click on that, again, go back down to, to Scribe, you can see that the firmware is already updating. So I could have actually updated it from the cloud without logging into the administrator, but I thought I'd show you that first. I'm just gonna pause while that takes care of things. Right, so that firmware is already updated. It took about four or five minutes, something like that gone back into the sync application. You can see I've got the scribe there, it's up to date. Right, so if I go down to video, you, so I've got content enhancement ticked, which shows an enhanced view of the whiteboard, corrects the perspective, reduces the glare, crops the whiteboard edges, and then it makes the presenter semi-transparent. So this is the same as the standard content camera or magic whiteboard from Microsoft, but Logitech has gone one further. What you can also do is remove the presenter entirely. So if I go up and actually draw on the, on the device in a few minutes, uh, you'll actually see uh, a ghosting of, of me, again, making me semi-transparent. I think that's probably the better view. Full presenter removal might be good for some. Right, so if I go back to settings and down to peripherals, you can see I've got content camera and the scribe is selected. So what I'm gonna do is press preview Right, so what that's doing is actually scanning the area, skews a little bit of mess, and it's now trying to find a whiteboard in that space. So it's found what it thinks is the whiteboard. Um, the edges aren't exactly right. I've got a few markers over there, so I'm just gonna cancel out of that. So I'm just gonna go clean up a couple of things and see if I can make that work a little bit better. I'm gonna pause the video for a second. Right, so I'm back. I'm just gonna press preview and let it do its thing again. 
So what I've done is taken the, mar the markers away and the eraser that was down over here. So let's just see if that does a little bit better of a job. There you go, that's much better. It's actually keyed in on the actual tape that I've got surrounding the thing. I put that on there to help the standard content camera magic whiteboard technology uh, back a little while ago. Right, so once it's found the whiteboard and you're happy with the actual adjustment, what you need to do is press the purple button, which I haven't mounted on the wall just yet. I've just got it right here just so I can show you to confirm. Right, I've just heard a little ping pong ping back behind me. And what it's doing is it's actually showing me what the whiteboard itself looks like. All right, I'm just going to go over and draw on it and see what it does. All right, so I'm just waving my hand in front of it now. As you can see, it's see-through. It can see all of these magnets that I've got there. I'm just going to start drawing. I always start with a square for some reason. There you go. It's actually really nice and dark. And again, if I wave my hand in front of it, you can see I am translucent. All right, so let's pick a lighter color. I'm just going to go for green, a little triangle in there. It's actually not very, very light. Let's try another one. I'm going to go for orange. Uh, actually, all my markers are just too good. You can see it's very, very good. All right, so that's the preview done. I'm just going to go ahead and close that and press save and exit. Right, so if you go back into the actual Microsoft Teams Room PC and open up the Sync application, go down to Scribe and down to Video, you can also, if you really want to, go ahead and edit your boundaries. So I'm just going to press Edit. You can either go Auto Calibrate or actually drag these boundaries down and then you can actually pick up more of the whiteboard. So you can see it's done a pretty good job, but I'm going to give it a little bit more space. All right, I think that's good. Now I'm just going to press confirm. All right, so as you can see, I've got the tape around it. Again, the drawings themselves are nice and dark. And that's it for this video. I know I'm being a tease, but I'm going to show you a demo in the next video, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.